Welcome Shadowrun community, my name is McDougall and this time I'm here to present you, to demonstrate you in an easy to follow tutorial how to create a comlink item that you can carry around that enables you to have mobile comlink conversations whenever you want to. At this point I want to give a very appreciated shout out to, or at least I give this shout out because I appreciate them. O'Donnell Higher and Dyslexic Coder, which originally had these, uh, this idea on the Shadowrun.com forum. So, thanks to you guys, I'm able to make this tutorial so that everyone can see it and create their own mobile comlink conversations. As you can see, when I click on my character, a random character I just hired for this test scene, nothing happens. I can walk around, I can click on her. Oh, um, I have a nice cyber arm, didn't even notice that before. Well, at least when I click on her, nothing happens. And I know why. Because when I'm checking my menu and go to mission items, I don't even have a comlink. And if I don't have a comlink, then, well, you know, I can't make any cards. So maybe my buddy Slick, the elf Slick who I caught the last time, maybe he can help me out. You see an elf surrounded with an aura of altruism. Do you need a calm, frost boy? Hi! Please lend me yours. Mission item added. Aris, Harmer, uh, Aris Hermes comlink. Well, the Aris Hermes is a comlink that I um, yeah, created myself. Just a mission item I used to have mobile, com uh, mobile comlink conversations. So, when I now click on my character this opens up a dialogue, a conversation. You draw your Aris, comlink, uh, Aris Hermes comlink. Do you want to play the call? Well, maybe I misclicked uh, on my character on mistake, so I'm going to put it away. But uh, I can't even walk around. The conversation was slick again, but he already uh, gave me his comlink. So when I click on myself again, I can now, no, maybe I want to, maybe I want to go away. <laughs> Alright, as you notice, uh, I set him to Team Shadowrunners, that's why he's following me around. I can call him. And when I call him, I see his portrait, and I could now have this conversation with other people. Like you see in my other tutorial, I could have had a conversation with um, a low fire now, or uh, Dunkelzahn, whatever you want to do whoever you want to call. I'm just wishing him a nice day for now. Alright, so let's see how to get this done. So here we are in editor. At first what I did was create a new quest item which are called comlink as you can see but I'm going to show you how it is. So I'm going to call it comlink version 2. I want to have an Aris Hermes Mm, maybe not an Aris Hermes. Oh well, Aris Hermes.2 comlink whatsoever. That is not really important. Description text isn't really important as well. At least for me now. And I want to be able to get this comlink at some place. Maybe I can pick it up from here. I'm just going to have this and make it item pickup don't want to destroy it and I want to have my quest I don't want to click on it I gave it I gave the coming through a conversation as you can see here but it is as I told you it's not important and I create a second conversation which is the conversation that takes place when I'm actually calling uh, using it yeah. as you can see here no this was not important well I can have my I can make a call. That's what's important. So then I create a trigger and I'm gonna call this trigger PC0 activate com. I want to retain it so that I can have a phone call whenever I want to. When is on actor clicked? This is here. If I want to know who I'm in, I am clicking on and I want it to be 
player character zero. I could also say that maybe a hired character or um, one of my other characters is the one I have to click on to use my com link. But I actually I'm the one uh, I'm the one who is giving the shoutouts. You know, I'm the one who is uh, making the calls. So it has to be me. I want to be the triggering actor. My main character. So next thing I want to check is if character if uh, evaluate if actor is item. So player character zero should have my quest item, my com link, and really important for me, maybe not for everyone, but when I'm inside a fight, when I'm in turn-based mode, I don't want to make calls. I want to fight. So another if statement: if the turn may uh, if the turn mode is free move, so not in combat. What do I want to do? I want to trigger conversation. Start conversation. Use comlink one with myself without facing target, and that's about it. So this time around, I hired another hireable character. That's why I'm looking like a ninja. I love them ninjas. When I click on myself, as before, nothing happens because I don't yet have my comlink. But when I go here and pick my comlink up, Arasermus dot two comlink. As you can see here, mission items. I can now click on myself and have this little conversation just as before. As O'Donnell Hire pointed out, we could also use this to be able to mobilely click on myself uh, or click on our main characters and open a map which we could create with matrix tiles or we could open up the stash or we could even um, click on something in this conversation and have a have a transition. We could say, hey, I'm here and I don't want to run back to back here, so have my conversation when I click on myself, say, I want to go to Redmond Barons and then morph or uh, warp myself there. Actually, a lot of a lot of awesome stuff is possible with this. So, on actor clicked is really a pretty cool feature that many people are probably going to use. Thanks for listening, feel free to like, comment and subscribe and be sure to give O'Donnell Hire and Dyslexic Cora some props on the forums. Have a nice day chumps, don't get yourself killed.